What's up everyone and welcome back for some more Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle and today we are back for the long promised Khalifa and Kale showcase. I have both of mine at SA10 and this is just going to be a 50% show off showcase and it's not going to be anything super spectacular but I just wanted to show you guys how well these guys link together, how what they're going to do on your typical heroes team. Obviously they will do much better on a 120% team or even a 70% team so Let's see, what is our, what are we looking like? Uh, to think about. All right, so let's actually, uh, do I want to do that actually? No, here's what I'm gonna do. So I wanna keep, so my plan is to, actually should rotate you up. All right, my plan is to have Cauliflower and Kale on a rotation. I want Vegito and Vegito on a rotation. And then I think, actually I might want Super Saiyan 4s on a rotation. So let's, uh, yeah, let's actually rotate out Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, and then next turn we'll rotate out Kale. So, what I want to, so, that's, alright, that's what I'm going to do. I forget what I, what point I was going to make beyond that, so, um, yeah, so obviously they'll do more damage on a 100% team. But what I want you guys to do is down below in the comment section, let me know what unit out of these two is your favorite. Whether it be because you think one or the other is Bay whether you like Cauliflower's defensive potential, whether you like how hard Kale hits because she hits super hard on a team, on a physical team, on a on a team. Yeah, that would really make a lot of sense. She hits really hard physical on a 70% team. Even on this team, you're going to see that she does pretty decent damage. Obviously, it's not going to be as much as these Neo leads that you're going to see, or even, I don't think she really does, well... I don't know. Um, Alright, so let's see what we can do. This is the problem. This is why I'm going to... So we're going to keep the Vegitos on off rotation, which I'm kind of maybe not the greatest idea, but we're going to do it anyway. So let's rotate out Kale as well. And, uh, oh, I can actually get both of you your super. So I can give you those two. And if Kale, if we're still alive, then I can give you that and you can have your super. But... I also haven't really got the chance to use just heroes in a while, so this is a nice opportunity for me to kind of break away from it. Ooh, nice. So this is kind of an opportunity for me to break out that team once again. So my answer to that question personally is, of course, Kale, or not Kale, uh, Cauliflower, because I love running super agility, and this has just rekindled my love for super agility. This is a really really fun team to run now just dodging and defense tanking is so cool well, not dodging but uh countering just because super vegeto so it's like the ultimate like defensive team which i enjoy quite a bit it kind of plays to what i like to do a little bit more maybe not as much damage wise but it is a fun team in terms of just like getting counters is fun and dodging is fun so there is that so my, my Khalifa and Kel are both at SA10 for the purposes of this, and this is basically to show off how well they link together and how well they do on a team together. And this isn't a scenario that you're going to see them on very often. However, there's probably going to be a quote-unquote meta universe survival arc team at some point. So I just want to show you guys the possibilities of what will be coming down the line. And this is actually exactly what I wanted to happen. So here we go. We need that. And I don't really need to give you all that because Vegeta will probably kill him before you even have an opportunity to attack. But we will do what we want anyway because we can. And this is actually the perfect setup because, yeah, because I can keep Vegito's on rotation, off rotation. I always have somebody countering in that last spot, and they they can be good key wise. So all right, this is actually perfect too because we can put our two defensive units in an ideal spot. So as you can see right here, these guys are already going to have their super attack when they link up by default because they share, I think, three key links together. And one of them being War Warriors of the Universe 6, they have uh, Battlefield Diva and Prepared for Battle. As you can see, both of them have all three of those. And I want, the, they don't have Golden Warrior. Okay. Oh yeah, they do have, well, no. She won't, yeah, I was going to say, Kale won't have Golden Warrior because she's technically not Super Saiyan, which kind of sucks because that would be one more dumb attack link that they could share, but we'll definitely take advantage of this anyway. And I will say I like Holly Fall a lot, but I expect her to be a little bit better defensively, and I'm kind of disappointed that she's not, like, an amazing defensive unit. She's really, really good. Like, I should say, she's she is an amazing defensive unit, but she's not, like, the be best defensive unit on the super agility team. She's still behind Vegito and, and Vegeta in terms of just pure defensive abilities. And here we go. We are going to get the dodge. We did not get the counter. That is the first time I've seen the dodge and not counter 
on a super attack with Kalifo. Usually it is both because it's usually her second ability that activates. We're gonna get the additional attack as well. So as you can see, she's actually already out damaging Super Vegito and Super Saiyan Blue Vegito in terms of the multiplier. And obviously she's not as good as the Neo Gods, but even with immense damage, she was never expected to be. We're getting all sorts of additionals. I mean, what is going on here? We are just putting in work. Wow, that was... Vegito wanted revenge. He was like better form. That better form Super Vegito better than Super Saiyan Blue. Alright, here we go. Um, so, and then this is the same situation for Super Saiyan 4. This is they share, I think, three key links as well. Yeah, they have all, all the same links, actually, I believe. I think Vegeta might have Royal Lineage, which Goku wouldn't have, because that's formerly known as the Vegeta link. So, Vegeta family link. So it wouldn't really make a whole lot of sense for him to have it anyway. Alright, let's see if we are going to just eat shit right here. Because uh, we are playing the demigods, by the way, I should say. So there is... Uh, oh, that actually looks pretty bad. We are playing the demigods, I should say. So there's that to keep into account, too. This isn't going to be super long. And I won't be hesitant to use items just to kind of make it through this. Alright, let's see. If we, if we can get one more super... Alright, yeah, I was going to say, if we can get one more super, we'll definitely kill him right here. And yeah, well, we didn't need to crit too. All right, I haven't used 50% in a while. It's a lot more nerve-wracking than I remember. I actually, actually, haven't used. I don't know why I repeated myself, but I actually haven't used. I haven't used double 50% in an even longer time because I was running Trunks as my lead for the longest time. So there's also that. Uh, so what do we want to do here? All right, let's. Either way, whoever we put in the front, we're going to take a little bit more damage than I want. So, let's just do that. And then you can have... Uh, you can have that faggot. Uh, and then you can have him. There you go. Alright, we're going to get the dodge on the strength... Or not on the strength... Yeah, on the strength type. That was the one I didn't want the dodge on. I would rather the dodge on Tagoma. The... Uh, the tech type, but anyway. Yeah, no, oh, we're still gonna get attacked here. Alright, I'm definitely gonna have to heal after this turn. What was that? 42,000? Alright, well, we got four healing items, so if we can try, if we can make this our only, oh, we get the additional. If we can get the, I guess this is the only healing item, the, like, once a fight, then we'll be good to go, so. Um, oh, I should say, I didn't say this, but my Kale and Cauliflower are both not duped out, but they are the free paths in the dupe system, so the plus 2000s, as I like to say. And they have the skill, so they both have additional attacks. I don't think I've seen Cauliflug get an additional attack yet, though, come to think of it. Alright, let's heal up here. And we we'll actually get to see a... Uh, no, let's put Vegeta first, actually, because Super Saiyan 4 Goku is still not in harm's way if we do so. This is like a great rotation, too. But unfortunately, Super Vegito is going to be in the back with nobody to counter. He's going to be lonely back there. Vegeta might one-shot this guy, too. I would not be surprised if Vegeta just one-shot him. Oh, he came damn close. Oh, he gets the additional. Alright. Did not expect that. I'd love to get some dupes with Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, but they keep putting him in really mediocre banners that aren't worth summoning on, in my opinion. So. Let's put you in the front, actually, for once. We can put Kalifla in a position to block, and then you can have all this blue right here, even though you, it probably shouldn't get to your turn, although it might. I th actually think it will. Actually, come to think of it, I think it will. What is it? Yeah, definitely not. Wow, we got in the addition. Oh, I, I, I'm sitting here thinking that, I'm sitting here thinking that we're not supposed to get an additional. I keep, so her passive is you get an additional. But it's not always a super attack. I think it's like a medium chance. So the fact that we keep getting it as a super attack is what I'm getting excited for. Not the, not the, ooh, nice. Not the additional itself because we're getting that built in. I'll have to check that in just a second, actually. Did we get an additional? No. All right, we are going to kill him on the counter, though, so that's nice. All right, there we go. Beautiful. And we'll be on to Golden Frieza now. Unfortunately, three of my units are going to be kind of useless, but... Alright, so let me just double check. So this is a launch of the initial. Oh, it's a 50% chance to become a super attack. Alright, so it's not that. Not as great as I thought, but we have gotten, I think, every time so far, so that's definitely, <laughs> definitely bound to change at some point here. Alright, let's tank with Vegeta, or uh, with Goku for once. 
His defense should be... No, his defense actually won't be built up. Oh, we are going to get a Doka mode with Goku, so that's actually perfect. Alright. So, that's actually really good. I didn't even realize we were that close to Doka mode. I wasn't paying any attention to it at all. But, that's good. I was going to say Goku's super should be built up at this point, and we're going to get the counter. Or not. I got the lagginess, but I didn't get the counter. Alright, that's weird. Um, so, with Goku... We haven't built up the super, so I was going to say, his defense should be built up, but I actually don't think he's supered a single time so far. He hasn't got the opportunity, even when I was going to give him the opportunity to. Vegeta ended up getting a stupid, like, normal additional attack, so this should hit for like a million and a half, though, so even on this team, without a crit, and oh, 2.3 million, alright, my calculations might have been a little bit off on that. And we are going to save the opportunity, or not the opportunity, what am I saying? We are going to save the need to heal because uh, obviously don't kind of tax heal your your health or heal your health recover your health I don't know what I'm trying to say they recover your health and the more damage you do the more your health re regenerates so and I forgot this is the countdown phase so I should probably should have put Kale first but we're only gonna get the three and the two anyway I just think Kale could have probably wiped them out well, maybe not maybe it was gonna take the power of both might actually even need Vegito for this just to finish off the last like 10% that it's probably not gonna do. All right, yeah, never mind. Not even, a, not even a concern. Perfect. Perfect. Let's move on to Goku Black now. Then we got Cell and Vegeta to finish things out. This is taken not very long either. I expected with a 50% team because I'm so used to playing against this with like amazing teams. I expected this to take much longer than it actually has. And it's like, nah, B, this is actually not really taking any time at all. We're swiftly moving through this. Even with a 50% of we can do that. Right there. Perfect. And I was going to say, hopefully we don't get super because Goku's defense is really bad. See, he's hitting for almost a million on here anyway. I love Goku. He is so good. Let's see if uh, we can finish him before he attacks again, though. Because I definitely don't want that to be a thing. Alright. Well, get the... Oh, okay. <laughs> I forgot agility on tech. I was gonna say get the assist, get the additional just to, like finish off the last little bit, but that was like a two percent, not even a ten percent that you had to finish off right there. All right, so hopefully we don't get hit too hard, super hard right here. You actually. All right, they must share some link that I don't know about. Oh, they share the Super Saiyan links. That's right. If we keep forgetting that this this hail is not a Super Saiyan card technically. However, even with that extra little bit, I'm not going to worry about it because I'd rather have you blocking. So, because that's half of your utility is blocking. So, let's put you in a good position to do so. And, hopefully, the, that second one is a super attack. Otherwise, it would have been almost completely pointless. Actually, well, here's the thing right here. Alright, yeah, if we don't... Oh, we're not going to dodge it either. Ooh. I was gonna say if we don't get super right there and he supers Kale, I might be dead. Hopefully we don't get hit super hard right here. All right, we still have 47k, so we should actually be solid, and we're getting another additional super. All right, very nice. All right, we are definitely gonna have to heal after this turn, though. I will say that much. Cause I'm a, well, yeah, we're gonna have to heal at some point. Even regardless, this is only the first stage of Black too. This isn't even the one that hits the hardest, so I, I'm really concerned for what we're about to see. But we'll, we'll survive. Although I don't think I bought brought Yemens. I think I bought brought Babas. Yeah, I did because I was like I have counters, but not. Nah. No, they need to play. All right, here let's start to actually use Goku <laughs> more than Vegeta. There's actually a reason to use Goku over Vegeta right now, though, so. Plus, he links with Vegito better, so we also have that going for us. I want to build up Goku's defense, though, because he's going to be really important here next couple turns, next few turns, so. I wish we'd gotten him next turn, though, because he probably got a one-shot black. All right, let's go, Thusher, because I don't want to deal with that. So we're pretty much just biding time for Goku to come back. Let's give you that, you those, and you those. And we should be in good shape. He should be at least down a health bar and a half. I mean, Super Saiyan 4 Goku could have probably one-shot him. But, with, especially with Link and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. I want to see if they ever put out LR... Oh, that's bad. 
That's not a additional super. If they ever put out LR Vegito Blue and it happens to be the same card and they just increase his leader skill to super types like plus 100 stats, I want to see how hard those cards hit together on that kind of team. So if that ever happens, then I definitely want to try this out again. So, alright. That actually wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be, but I wasn't expecting it necessarily to do a whole lot, so at the same time I can't really be 100% disappointed. Anyway, so we'll see if we can finish this off right here. I was going to say Goku could one-shot him, but at the same time I just remembered, um, yeah. At the same time I, oh crit. At the same time I just remembered that he is on a 50% team and on a 120% team, so he's not going to do as much in terms of that. But we are going to, uh, definitely finish him off right there. And we can move on now to Cell. And I don't, mi I don't miss doing these with 50% teams, I will say though. They're, it's really nerve-wracking trying to like think of when you need to well, using items and trying to conserve stuff. And it's just a hassle. Alright, let's actually put you first. And you can wipe out the int, or not the int, the tech one. And if not, I'm not as concerned about you anyway, so it's not really a big deal. You can have... Have, I guess whatever random ones, right? You, I guess you can have that one, and then you can have who's left? Int. Sure. Um, I was gonna say, let me actually get you your super though. That would, that would be an important first step. And hopefully this kills this Cell Junior. This is my least favorite phase, of, like any Dokkan like event ever, just because it's so stupid and annoying. All right, well, this time we actually get an additional, but it's not a super, an additional from the dupe system. I mean. But it is not a super, so that's not definitely not ideal. At the same time, we should be able to. All right, let's see. We should be able to kill that cell junior, and we definitely did kill that cell junior. Ooh, we're getting the additional from Vegito. Hopefully, that's not the one that he was supposed to counter because I was gonna say otherwise we'll have to sit here for another turn. Oh, we have to sit here for another turn anyway because I forgot they lived through counters with like five HP. All right. Well, it's an opportunity to build up the Super Saiyan 4 Goku's defense anyway, so I'll definitely take it. Once we can get this tiny bit of health regeneration. Even though it was good. Oh, we're going to get the counter, though. Alright, I was going to say, even though we're going to get supered right here, but it was a little laggy, so we got that counter. Unfortunately, we didn't build up his defense. I would have rather just had him probably tank it, because it would have done like 8 damage. But, you know, it isn't the biggest deal in the world. Alright, so let's put Polyflow first. Just because I don't want to get, I want to avoid the potential of getting supered. So I don't want to put you in harm's way just in case of that. Because I want to try to not heal during this fight. If we have to, that is one thing. I won't, I'm not going to like be hesitant to heal. We're only working with a 50% HP boost. So I don't, ooh, we are going to get the additional as well. I'm, we're only dealing with a 50% HP defense attack boost, so I, yeah, alright, this is exactly what I didn't want to happen. Oh, dodge, we got the dodge, that was beautiful, I am very happy about that, alright, that was beautiful, so, let's see what we can do, and this is going to be rough, guys, this is going to be rough, but it actually wasn't that bad, it only took about 60k, which isn't the worst, it's definitely not ideal, but it isn't the worst in the world, can we get a super? No, it does not look like it. We got, we got three additional attacks and we didn't get a single super. What was that about? Alright, so one of these is going to be a heal, so I'm not opposed to putting Goku in the first slot right here. Let's uh, let's save all those blues for Super Vegito because he has the, he has the better health recovery because mine's 100% in the dupe system. Alright, cover your 375,000. Goku is just going to wipe out all of it at once, so it won't really even matter. There we go. You just made it more epic when you got killed, because he did more damage. Alright, so, let's see, alright, let's put Kale first. Actually, yeah, um, do we want to heal? No, we'll try to save healing if we can, because, uh, we'll have, well, actually, this kind of sucks, come to think of it. Alright, if we die here, then it's whatever, this is just meant to be a showcase anyway, it's not really, it wasn't really meant to be like a... Oh, this is bad though. That that is bad. I did not want that to happen. All right, so this is not ideal at all, but we will get at least some health back, I guess. So like, it's whatever at the end of the day. But 
This is just a showcase anyway. This wasn't meant to be like a can we beat boss rush with Kale and Caulifla uh, main rotation, even though that's not ideal at all on a 50% team. Wasn't really meant to be that, but. Well, wow, she's still a really good damage actually. I was surprised. If we so if we had type advantage right there, we would have definitely done like a million. That's pretty cool actually. And we're gonna get an additional from the dupe system. I don't know my voice cracked right there. We're gonna get an additional from the dupe system as well, so that's pretty dope. Alright. One true cauliflower. Can we can you do this? Not quite. And we're gonna get the dodge. That's really not really necessary, but alright, Vegito, please get an additional super. No? Alright. Well, glad well we talked. Once again, Super Saiyan 4 Goku is gonna have to come to the rescue. Yeah, let's actually do Super Saiyan 4 Goku. I was thinking like, should we do Vegeta, but no. We'll do Goku, because that's the guaranteed kill. I don't want him to regenerate health and then be dumb. Yeah, so we'll do that. We'll do that. And, oh, we got the crit too on top of that. This is definitely unnecessary. How much health do we have, by the way? 119k. That didn't recover as much health as I thought it did, honestly. We did 700,000 and it recovered like very little health. That's very strange, actually. Come to think of it. But, you know, it's, it's whatever, fam. We'll do it that way. And then we'll have these things right here for you. And you can give me about 3,000 back. Or like, well, maybe not quite. I didn't get to see it at the bottom because Kale's super attack started beforehand, though. That was kind of garbage. Alright, we are going to get the additional. I don't think he's going to be dead, though. But that was why I put her in the front. So it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Wow, he's still hitting for 10k. I hate, I hate 50% teams. <laughs> I really hate them. But we do have two healing items left. So we are st are still in decent condition in terms of that. And also this turn is going to matter less in terms of... Yeah, alright. Yeah, I was going to say this turn matters less in terms of damage because we have our Super Saiyan 4s back. So there's that. Right. Yes. Say, hopefully he doesn't super me. It doesn't look like he's going to. We are going to have to heal after this turn, I think. Which is unfortunate, but you still have two Dendies left, so... We're, we actually might be boned. If he supers me right here, I'm gonna die. Alright, he didn't super me. Oh, I wasn't gonna die anyway. Why, I, why did I think I had much less HP than I actually did? I didn't realize I had like 60k. Alright, um... So what are the attacks... I was gonna say, how are the attacks gonna be distributed? Uh, Alright, so let's heal. I didn't really want to, but if he's not bunch attacking and I can't just shield with Kalifla, then I'm not gonna like do something really dumb just to do something really dumb. So we'll just do this and then you know that I guess it doesn't really matter. I wish I had brought like a Whis or a what's his face? A uh, King Yemma or something. I, I just wish I had thought a little bit ahead. I didn't I I didn't know that I was going to do this the way I was going to do this. I thought that I was going to have a Vegito turn instead of a Super Saiyan Horse turn. That was like a total last minute 180 on my part. So like I wasn't prepared for that necessarily. But this actually, this phase is going to be the hardest one anyway for me because we have three AGL units. Next phase we're gonna is going to be it and we're going to have two physical units. Or three physical units I guess technically because we have the from Vegito as well. Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. So... That's gonna be decent. Why can we not get an additional super? And of course, we're getting super attack. That sucks. That is bad. All right, so let's shield with Vegeta, I guess. And then I can give this little tiny bit of health recovery right there with you. We'll see where that takes us. Yeah, definitely great. Great tanking right there by Vegeta. Very good. G is probably like my favorite card right now, honestly, because I've been running so much of that team. Super AGL has been like my favorite team for like the last month, maybe not quite. Pretty much ever since it came out, actually, this was my favorite team, but 
Strength is my better team, but that is my favorite team. Alright, this is actually exactly what I wanted. So, let's do this. We'll do that for you. And then we'll give you those greens over there. And you have those greens over there. And we're set up pretty good for next turn still. For whoever's in the third slot. I want to say it'll be another Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. That's just what I think, though. It might not be the case. And we're going to get the Super as our additional attack. This card's so good. I love both of these cards. They were really good for for filler quote-unquote cards. They're really good. We might die here if we get Super. Actually, no, we shouldn't because Vegito's defense is going to be super high. I think it's like 65 so for defense. Yeah. I was going to say, if we keep getting additional supers, I might not even have to worry about it. Doesn't look like he's, yeah, it doesn't look like he's going to super me either. Alright, so... Alright, I'm going to heal. I didn't want to, but I'm going to heal. I was going to say, if he is in the, if he's attacking the first slot, I'm just going to like... I, if he wasn't attacking the first slot, I was just going to put Goku there and finish the job. But it doesn't really matter anyway, so we'll just do that. I just probably could have put Vegito there and not had to heal. But, alright, see? I I knew stuff. I know stuff. This only does, I was gonna say, this one does like 66k though, for some reason. I don't know why he hits not hard at all. Like, all the other ones in this, this event hit the hardest, but he probably has the most drawn out of that. Alright, that's gonna do it. That is it for this Cauliflower slash KO. Boss Rush slash it's not really Cauliflower Kale because Super Saiyan Force did most of the work, but we did pretty good actually time-wise. I didn't think we would be, I think we got like 25-ish minutes, maybe 26, 26, 29. That was actually longer than I thought, but we did really good, I thought, for being a 50% team running with Cauliflower Kale who aren't really like necessarily optimal units for beating Boss Rush, but let me know what are your guys' favorite of the two should have shown this probably first to give you a status idea of my team. But what is your favorite of the two units? Mine is definitely Caulifla. Just because we can run Super AGL properly right now, and she is an optimal unit in my opinion on that team, just for defensive purposes. I can see the argument for Kale though. Kale's really good, Kale hits hard. Kale, as we just saw, gets additional supers left and right. So definitely a great unit and would not blame you if that was your answer but that is going to do it for me thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed stay tuned for more dragon ball z dokkan battle